Then the fourth indicator is the profitability index. Okay, so when it is very similar to NPV, but when you look at NPV, you use minus sign. But in case of the profitability index, it means that you use when you hear the word index, it means dy. Okay, so Profitability index is the present value of cash inflow divided by present value of cash outflow. So instead of you minus it together, you use the present value of all inflow divided by initial outflow. So this is your decision rule. If the profitability index is more than one, you should accept that project. And if the profitability index is less than one, you should reject that project. And the last thing is that is the profitability index is equal to one. It means that it is indifferent whether you accept or reject. Okay. So later on in the following video, you will see how how we calculate this thing. The first one is a payback period. Okay. Simply, this is a key sentence. How long it takes to get your money back? Okay. For example, you invest five million. When will you get that five million back? That is simply the payback period. So it has a pro because it is very easy to calculate. But the con is that they didn't take into consideration of the time value of money. Okay, so you can that, that is can also call the payoff period or the capital recovery period. Okay, in fact, we don't have a clear cut rule for payback period, but charter is simply better. But we cannot say like MPV, IRR and a profitability index okay so if some project that br uh, bring benefit in the early year so that project we have a shorter payback period okay but that is concern in my real life i will use payback period as just a course initial screen it means that you reset those projects that even no pay payback anymore so no need to calculate those projects because it does not um, pay back. Okay, so I will use it as a core screen or a preliminary tool. Okay, so later on, as I mentioned to you that we're going to discuss about this thing in the Excel. Then the, uh, the sixth one is about discount payback. As you know that payback period, it neglect the effect of time value of money. So basically, this count payback, it calculates those things in terms of the present value and just calculate payback period. So first of all, you need to, to calculate present value of all those future cash flow and you find the time that bring, um, that pay you back, okay? This is about the sixth one, okay? We discuss about this in the following video. And the last thing is the concept of independent project and mutually exclusive project. When you look at independent project, it means that that two or three projects, they are isolation from each other or simply they are independent from each other because they are not related. So you can decide on that solely. The decision on project will not affect the outcome of another project. For example, you think about uh, investing in the new car park compared uh, with the new IT system of the com uh, of the university, for example, like that. That is uh, irrelevant to each other. But the second time, if the mutually exclusive projects, the decision to accept or reject project cannot always be separate from other. For example, if you get if you got two proposal, and they mention to you about uh, buying MacBook and Windows laptop to use in the u university, you see you need to calculate and compare between them. That is the mutually exclusive project. So if you see in the project, it means you can make a decision um, solely. It won't affect together. But when you look at mutually exclusive project, the decision to accept they are related. So you should uh, select one of them. You cannot select both of them. Okay. That is all about um, six financial returns, including independent project and mutually exclusive project. Later on in the following video, I will show you about calculating project A and project B, and let's see. One thing to keep in mind is that 
we need to make a decision to accept or reject the project. So the decision rule for accept the project is the NPV should be positive, IRS more than K, profitability index should be more than one, and payback period is appropriate. Okay, that is the decision rule.